Seal light table scan tutorial. Things that I found out the hard way. So I figured it would be very straightforward. I would take a, an initial view of my uh, table by clicking on the initial and it would understand what that looks like. And then once I told it what that looked like, I would go into scan mode and I would just turn the turntable on with the part on it and have it rotate and scan it. So I'm going to start my scan here. And there it is scanning. And I'm going to turn on the turntable and it will rotate. And I will end up with a nice 3D scan of that part. For some reason, turntable scan or table scanning always captures 320 frames. And I suspect their turntable goes at a particular rotational speed that that gives them 360 degrees, but mine is different. So once it is finished scanning, then you get to see what you've accomplished. And what I learned was that initial scan, where it captures an image of the base, um, performs two functions. First off, you can see the highlighted pink area. It's very easy to remove the base from your scan just by hitting delete at that point. It is selected and it can be removed easily. But the problem you see with the scan here is it actually has rotated the object that it was scanning. And the reason for this has to do with it not knowing where the object had rotated. And the whole magic for that is in the turntable itself. So here's an image of my turntable. And it now has what looks like marked pattern on it but it isn't actually marked pattern. It's actually uh, impressions in the foam pad on the turntable base. And you can see now these depressions actually show up in the 3D scanner. So when I take the initial view, it actually understands that pattern that's in the base of the turntable and that's a non-repeating pattern that I created on that foam pad. Then when I have the object on and I scan, it's now doing a scan and it can actually see that pattern in the base so that it knows where the object is with, with respect to the base and how it is rotated. So it can, is able to then keep track of the single object on the base as it rotates so that it doesn't turn it into a smeared blob of rotating scanned object. It keeps all the orientation such that it knows that it's one object, one orientation. As soon as it's finished rebuilding, you will see that the base is again easy to remove just by hitting the delete key. And now, instead of having a smeared object, I do have a single object. Not perfect by any means, and will require some cleanup for sure, and some other orientations in order to turn it into a proper scan. There's a lot of things that need cleaning up on here, but it isn't a streaking blob.